In this video, we'll show you how to use your clean brake pliers. We'll talk about the contents of the clean brake plier kit, key accessories needed for cleaving, installing and removing the cleaving jaws for crystal and amorphous materials, uh, and how to cleave using the pliers. Your clean brake pliers ship with one pair of plier handles, two pair of jaws for crystalline material, and one pair of jaws for amorphous material. Also used in this educational video are other important cleaving accessories such as scribers, pliers, rulers, and cleaving mats. You can buy these accessories in turnkey cleaving kits at the Lattice Gear eStore. Go to www.latticegear.com and click on the eStore button. I'm going to demonstrate how to install the jaws uh, provided to you in your clean brake pliers. These jaws are used to cleave semiconductor crystalline materials and you'll see that one of the jaws has a bump in the center and the other jaw has two bumps uh, on the periphery of the jaw. When these are installed properly. The jaw with the rise in the middle will be at the bottom uh, when looking at it from the top side where the white line is. Uh, and the jaw with the two bumps on the peripheries uh, will be installed on the side with the white line. All you need to do is hold the pliers jaws open Grab the jaw uh, on either side and it'll go into the slide into the slot on the sides of the pliers. And so you can just push it from the top until it slides in to the jaw. And now you'll see uh, the bottom jaw is installed. I'll flip it over and do the same thing with the other jaw. And there you go. Your jaws are installed in your clean brake pliers. Now we'll show you how to cleave a sample with the pliers. To cleave a sample, I'll just demonstrate it on a piece of silicon. I'll use my pen style diamond scribe. I'll make a short scribe on the edge of the sample. Now with my pliers, uh, with the white line facing up, I'm going to place the scribe line on the sample in alignment with the white line on the pliers and then squeeze gently and I have cleave the sample. It's as simple as that. You just always need to remember to have the white line facing up. The jaws are replaceable and when you need to replace it uh, you can remove them by inserting a small screwdriver in the edge and pushing and removing the jaw. Do it on the other side. There's a small slot here. Uh, and then the jaws are removed. And they can be replaced uh, with the spare jaws uh, or you'll need to order a new set of pliers uh, once you've replaced them. Your cleaving pliers come with a set of jaws that's very useful for uh, cleaving glass. Uh, so instead of having a uh, bump uh, as the uh, jaws for crystalline materials have, they're flat. Uh, they insert into the pliers uh, in the same way that the others do. Uh, they just slide in the groove slot. In this case, uh, it won't matter which uh, 
way you cleave which side is up. With the flat jaws installed, I'll show you how to cleave glass uh, so that you can cut it into small pieces. Uh, and we'll do that by first scribing the sample. And I'll do a full length scribe across the tire width of the sample I want to cleave. To break the sample along the scribe line, I'll take my pliers, I'll align the scribe with the edge of the table, and bring my pliers close to the uh, scribe line, Then I'm going to pull down and away against the edge. And now you'll see I've got the edge cleaved off of that sample.